In this video, we're going to talk about the unit that everybody wants to take, but nobody wants to take. We're going to talk about troops, and we'll be right back. Hello again, Tabletop Warriors, and welcome back to the Plague Den. My name's Tony. This is my continuing video series where we explore the 40K universe one model at a time. And as I alluded to earlier, today we're going to talk troops, more specifically tactical squads and Chaos Space Marines. They're both basically the same points. We're going to talk about why people don't play them as much anymore and why they're just not good competitively, although still fun. And that's why I said they're kind of the unit that everybody wants to play, but nobody wants to play. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more videos just like this one, and we're going to go right at it. All right, so a long time ago when I first started playing 40K, my first models were the Assault on Black Reach box set. I actually went to a place called Hobby Chest in Jacksonville, North Carolina, uh, where I met some uh, really cool people and watched some games, and I fell in love and I wanted to play. I wanted to play Blood Angels. I wanted the models, so I bought, bought the Assault on Black Reach box set thinking I could trade the orcs for more space marines, and that's what I did. You get a tactical squad. I think you got some terminators and a dreadnought uh, and a captain uh, that was just kind of a model all by himself. And I remember that tactical squad because the sergeant in the tactical squad was like pointing his finger, and he had some like crazy hair or, or something like that, and, and I loved that tactical squad. I had the flamer and had the missile launcher. And I think tactical squads, the look of the tactical squad and the look of Chaos Space Marines and the fact that they're almost the core of the 40K universe and everything is built kind of around them is what drew a lot of people into this game. And I think a lot of people can attribute their love of the game to those units. Unfortunately, uh, people just don't play them competitively anymore. And, and it's sad. And, and we're going to explore a little bit about that. So when you look at their points... Infantry squads from IG with four points a model and cultists at five points a model and tactical marines at 13 points a model, chaos space marines at 13 points a model and the scouts at 11 points a model. And I, I did a video on scouts and talked a little bit about them. I'll, I'll link that above. But when you talk about the wounds that they're avail available to put out or able to put out and the wounds that they take, um, scouts obviously have a worse save. They have a four up instead of a three up, which is really, in a way, the only difference. Scouts also get that special infiltrate rule where you get to sign them up or set them up nine inches from the enemy that tactical marines don't get. And then they get all the same chapter benefits um, that the tactical marines get, plus they get that special rule. Um, but they give up that four plus as opposed to three plus. And that really relates to uh, two points a model, 13 versus 11 points a model. Uh, so scouts in particular when they're doing wounds like when we're i'm just talking about bolt guns versus whatever uh they're engaged with shooting at them or they're shooting at uh, their ability to give out wounds points per model is better than tactical marines now their ability to take wounds point per model is not as good as tactical marines but if you look at infantry squads they've got them they've got tactical marines beat in both subjects not only can they put out more wounds but they can take more wounds points per model now again everything's broken down here and just you can look it up and do the math yourself but everything's broken down here into like a point per model or wounds per model kind of uh, uh scenario where you say okay well it's like 0 0.006 versus 0 0.008 in terms of how much they're worth when it comes to putting out or receiving wounds Colts are the same way at five points a model not quite as good as the infantry squad, but certainly better than tactical marines and certainly uh, better than than uh, scouts and better than chaos space marines on that on that side of the house. So doing that math and then when you add in, so you can make the argument and you can say, yeah, well, well, the tactical marines can take all kinds of special weapons. And that's true. They can take special weapons, but every special weapon that you add that the scouts can't take or the cultists can't take every time you add a special weapon, that point per model goes up. Um, so you do get a little more benefit from the fact that, yeah, you can take out more likely to cause wounds, but that separation is still happening because if you add something that costs 10 points, you're adding a point per model, or if you're adding something that costs 20 points, you're adding, you know, uh, or two points per model or, you know, X amount of points per model. Every time you add a special weapon to the sergeant or you take a special weapon in the squad, you're adding points. Now, yeah, you can make the argument you can add points to the scout squad too, and that 
actually increases their point cost as well. So when you're just talking about points uh, per model or wounds per model uh, that they can either dish out or receive, the difference is when you do the math that tactical Marines and chaos space Marines just aren't as point efficient as chaos cultists, as uh, infantry squads from Imperial Guard or, and, and I just, we just are talking about these simple comparisons. You can compare to all kinds of different troops in the game. Uh, and you, and I think you'll find out that those troops, at least the, the tactical squads and the chaos space Marines are uh, some of the least efficient models in the game when it comes to the troop choice and uh, like i said before you can add some special weapons and you can add heavy weapons and that kind of thing but every time you do that you're just increasing that point per model when in comparison to either taking scouts or taking cultists or 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 playing imperial guard um the and i think primaris marines have had a, a huge effect on that too um and i and this is just my opinion i'm just guessing i know there's a lot of talk about a GW wants to get rid of tactical Marines. They want to get rid of chaos space Marines and just go strictly with the Primaris Marines. And I don't know if that's true or not, uh, but I do know that they're certainly on the back burner and they're not getting a whole lot of love when it comes to uh, point reductions or, or taking a serious look at how good they are or or, or what their competitiveness in, is in any given army. Um, and when you look at it, if you want to play a game with your friends and, and you have a lot of tactical Marines, you have cast space Marines and you want to take a, a lot of different uh, units of them, that's great. They're fun. And we're not talking about huge, huge differences. Uh, although in the case of Imperial Guard compared to tactical Marines, the difference is pretty, pretty big. But the difference between scout squads and tactical Marines, like I said, they're, they can give out wounds a little easier, uh, better than tactical Marines, but they don't receive wounds as well as uh, they're not as resilient. And, and we're talking about very slightly less resilient uh, in Chaos Cultists, obviously, you're getting 10 uh, models for the 50 points as opposed to 5 models for the 65 points versus Chaos Space Marines. Uh, and the Cultists are just fodder. And remember, you sp people use them to spread them out to avoid deep strike and to screen and to do all kinds of things that, that Tactical Marines and Chaos Space Marines just don't do as well because you're only getting the 5 models. So if you want to use them as a screen or if you want to use them to cover ground or if you want to stretch them between two objectives, guess what? Cultists are way better than that. And the scouts, well, you can do that infiltrate rule where you set them up nine inches from the enemy. Plus, you can give them the sniper rifles. You can give them the camo cloaks. Now, that does cost a little bit more points, but they are way better to keep in the cover or sitting on objectives or whatever the case may be to deny uh, areas for deep strike. Um, so those are just some of the reasons why I think that these Marines especially chaos based marines and tactical squads or tactical marines are just not being used as much in competitive play again they're fun i encourage you to play with them you can certainly buff them with support characters and give them all kinds of different stratagems and there's all kinds of ways to make them better but when you boil everything down and scrape away everything and take away all the the special buffs from different characters the stratagems the the uh the uh, psycher abilities and, and all that stuff and you just look at points per model and their ability to either give wounds with their bolt guns or receive wounds from uh from small arm fire they're just not as good as the other troop choices in the game and i think that's the number one reason why they're not played competitively and they're not as appreciated as they used to be now how do you make them a little bit better? Well, I think like if you lowered, and now I know GW doesn't care about what uh, Tony from the Play Den doesn't have has to say, but if you look at it from a terms of if they lowered the point value, so it's 65 points per unit. If they lowered that down to say 55, where you're saving two points a model, well, that makes a huge difference, and you would see their use slowly creep back into the meta. So I don't think GW really wants to do that because then that takes away from all the Primaris Marine sales that they've come out with. And I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose. I'm not saying that they're phasing out tactical Marines. I'm just saying that that's not their focal point anymore. Chaos Space Marines, and until Chaos Space Marines get something to equal Primaris, Chaos Space Marines aren't gonna be any good. They've given them some new models and, and I think that you can use them in sort of a soup, especially with the Chaos Knights coming in and maybe some different detachments and stuff. But as a whole, I don't think Chaos Space Marines are that good and simply because 
they don't really have any models that can compete with the the prime primaris marines uh, it just doesn't happen even though the primaris marines are more expensive uh, when you take your only choice being cultists and chaos space marines compared to the efficiency of primaris uh, it's just kind of apples and oranges so um <clears throat> but that's if they lowered the points i i think you would immediately see a huge uh, turnaround in how how much chaos space, space marines or tactical marines are played until that point Continue to use them, especially in your fun games, especially with your friends, especially at your local gaming store. Uh, if you like them and you have them painted, and believe me, I think tactical squads are are awesome, and I Chaos Space Marines are awesome, and, and they're one of my favorite units in the game just from a nostalgia standpoint. Um, use them for the fluff, use them to have fun. But as I said with Plague Marines, they're just not the competitive scene that much anymore. People want to take their troop choices for their detachments or their battalion and be the lowest points possible to do what they do. Screen, cover objectives, deny deep strike, maybe take out a couple of uh, models here and there, but basically sit in one spot and do what they do. Anyway, uh, that's a little bit. Those are my thoughts on tactical Marines. Those are my thoughts on chaos based Marines and why nobody plays them in competitive scene anymore. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give me a like, uh, a thumbs up, and comment below if you're using them or, or, or your thoughts. Maybe I got some things wrong and uh, you can set me straight. Uh, I am prone to do that on occasion. So uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing for more videos from the Play Den. Until next time, this is Tony saying to win all your battles in life. And on the tabletop, we'll see you guys later.